So we worked our way through the infield rankings in Diamond Dynasty. So now it's time to make it to the outfield. And we're going to start things off with the top 10 center fielders in the game right now. In my opinion, the most stacked position in Diamond Dynasty right now. We have Mike Trout, two of them, two Acunas. We have Cody Bellinger's car that's amazing. Byron Buxton, two of those cars. Robert, so many great options at the center fielder spot. So in the comments down below, let me know who do you think is the best center fielder in Diamond Dynasty right now. And if you're excited for this one, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to follow me over on Twitch. And I've been live streaming a ton of MLB The Show 22 content over there. And I would love to see you all in the next stream. But I hope you enjoy the video. And let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub. Can I take over YouTube? Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. So today we're talking the top 10 center fielders in Diamond Dynasty right now. And I didn't realize this until I went to make this video. This is almost a face of the franchise ranking list for the most part until we get into the top three because there are so many faces of the franchise center fielders. Buxton, Bellinger, Robert, Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna Jr. Seven face of the franchise center fielders. And they're all elite and they're all going to be on this top 10 list. And one other funny thing that I want to show you guys before we get into the ranking list, take a look at this Byron Buxton the 90 overall face of the franchise one now let's take a look at the live series one almost symmetrical fielding stats basically the same and the hitting stats are almost the same too it's actually crazy how similar these two cards are and that they're actually different cards so I'm actually going to rank the live series Buxton right with the face of the franchise one because they really are almost the exact same card like my other rankings list though these are just my opinion so if you agree or disagree with me that is completely okay and this will be primary positions only so no left fielders no right fielders strictly center fielders for this list so let's get into it we are going to get things started here with a very underrated card in Diamond Dynasty every single year and that is going to be 90 overall Brian Reynolds. Something about a switch handed bat with excellent contact and underrated power always makes Brian Reynolds cards way better than they actually are in paper. He plays very good in game in my opinion. 90 contact against righties, 100 against lefties 81 power against righties, 60 against lefties but the power does feel better in game than it actually says on paper fielding stats are solid so is the speed so he should be a very solid defender for you 84 fielding 82 arm 60 accuracy 85 reacts time 85 speed it really is just a shame that this position is so stacked that this brian reynolds card is at number 10 when he easily would be a top five outfielder in right field or left field but the face of the franchise program really gave us so many great outfielders that he has to be at number 10 i think he unfortunately is the worst of the face of the franchise center fielders but you can still get him for 13k if you're looking for a budget option this is going to be your guy up next is going to be cody Bellinger and it really is so hard to differentiate some of these faces of the franchise cards they are all so good and so close together honestly center field is the most difficult position to rank right now in the game in my opinion Cody Bellinger always has one of my favorite swings in the entire game so it stinks to put him here at number nine he has very solid power he has okay contact he has a stud defensively with pretty solid speed 89 power against righties 87 against lefties I have to nitpick these cards a little bit because they're all really close together so I guess the lack of contact will keep Cody down here 78 contest against righties 57 against lefties because if i'm playing on hall of fame or legend which i'm about to get to in rank seasons i guess his pci size is going to be too small for me so i'm gonna have to put bellinger here at number nine 89 fielding 99 arm 66 accuracy 92 rack time 75 speed 62 steel it really stinks to put him this low again extremely budget friendly like brian reynolds 12k on the market with a buy order great swing though i love this bellinger card at number eight i am going to go with ronald acuna jr Junior, something about Acuna, I never really like his swing too much. His PCI size always feels too small for me because the vision and the contact stats are just too low right now. And as I get into Hall of Fame and Legend, he's not going to be that good for me. But if you're playing on All Star or Veteran, he could be higher up on your respective list because his power numbers are amazing for the center fielder spot. 92 power against righties, 100 against lefties. His fielding stats, though, also hold him back because he only has 69 fielding, 69 racks time, does have a cannon of an arm with really good speed. So the speed will make up for 
for the lack of fielding stats a little bit, but because of the bad contest against righties, bad fielding and bad reaction time stat, have to nitpick again here. I'm going to put him at number eight. If you want to pick him up, he's about 20k on the market. At number seven, I am going to go with 90 overall Louise Robert. Now, this is a card, honestly, I was going to put in the top five. I am doing so well with this card. Another card that's extremely underrated, in my opinion. His swing is really smooth. He's very good against lefties, and he's still solid enough against righties. 81 contest against righties, 106 against lefties, 74 power against righties, 97 against lefties. I really do like Robert's swing a lot. He's not Buxton in the field, but he's very good too. 88 fielding, 74 arm, 59 accuracy, 89 reaction time, 93 speed, 80 steal. I mean, he's well-rounded. That's going to put him over Bellinger, going to put him over Acuna, not quite Buxton or Mike Trout's card though, because I like those two cards at the plate a little bit more than Robert, and then Buxton has 99 fielding, 99 speed, so it's hard to beat that in the field, but Robert is a well-rounded outfielder, so if you're looking for somebody that could pretty much do it all, Robert is going to be your guy, again, only about 12,500 stubs. At number six, we are going to have 90 overall Cedric Mullins. I like the lefty bat here. Advantage over some of the other cards that we talked about so far in Acuna and Robert. He has a smaller strike zone. Big advantage there. A lot more pop at the plate in-game, actually, than the stats would actually say. Really like his swing, too. 95 contest against righties, 80 against lefties, 88 power against righties, 70 against lefties. They bumped up his defensive stats this year with 85 fielding, 72 arm, 50 accuracy, 87 reaction time. Last year, his arm was way too low. I couldn't put him high up in the center fielder rankings, but because his arm did take a step up, fielding reaction time looks much better this year. Mid 80s plus and then 82 speed, 85 steel. Mullins can make the top six here. One of the better face of the franchise center fielders. All of them are great, but Mullins is in that upper tier in my opinion for 17K. He's a very good option. At number five, I am going to have Byron Buxton. Now, I know I knocked Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 90 overall card in Cody Bellinger for the lack of contact stat, making their PCI size too small. And Buxton honestly could drop to number seven, number eight, if you really want him to. But because he has 99 fielding, 99 speed, nothing's getting past this guy in the outfit with a cannon of an arm. Nobody's running on Buxton. That definitely bumps him up over Acuna, over Cody Bellinger. And then also Byron Buxton, I personally am just so good with him at the plate. 84 power against righties, 78 against lefties. And this is my top five list for my center fielder rankings. You guys, again, can disagree with me in the comments down below. That is completely fine. Let me know. But I just feel like I do so good with Byron Buxton at the plate that I personally have to put him here at number five because I really do like this card more than Acuna and more than Bellinger. But they really are all great center fielders in this game. 62 contest against righties. So Hall of Fame legend. Once I get there, I'll have to reevaluate Byron Buxton. If the PCI size is too small and he starts to drop off in the power category, he'll fall down my list. So we will have to see. But obviously, because of the fielding stats, because of the speed and the pretty solid power, he will make my top five here at number five and only 13K. At number four, we are going to have the budget 90 overall face of the franchise, Mike Trout. And I'm going to let my stats with Mike Trout speak to you guys right here. 32 plate appearances, six home runs, batting 500, over a 1.0 slugging percentage, 500 batting average, 1.5. 594 OPS. I am destroying with this 90 overall Mike Trout card. Every other at bat right now is a hit. I can't wait to get his live series card at some point. I always love Mike Trout cards. I do like his swing this year. Very good swing in my opinion. Solid enough contact numbers for higher difficulties right now with pitchers having lack of hits per nine stat. 82 contact against righties. 76 against lefties. 108 power against righties. Some of the best power against righties in the outfield you could find right now in the game. 74 power against lefties. Good enough fielder. If I get into parallel five, that is every fielding stat 80 and above. Right now, though, at parallel one, he has 77 fielding, 81 arm, 78 accuracy, 76 react time, 90 speed, 43 steal. I love Mike Trout cards. That's why he's here at number four, in my opinion, the best face of the franchise center fielder, and you can get him for about 20k. That'll lead me to number three, and finally, our first non-face of the franchise card, and that is going to be 93 overall Ronald Acuna Jr. Take the 90 overall Acuna, make it better in every single aspect. Little bit better contact against righties, better contact against lefties, better power against righties, better power against lefties. This card definitely is much better, even though it is a small boost in every single category. That will make his piece PCI size a little bit bigger at the plate. Make the power actually make up for the lack of contact even more. The fielding stats is not going to be quite as a liability as he was with the 90 overall card with this 93 overall version. 74 fielding, 95 arm, 96 accuracy, 74 reaction time. So if I get this card to parallel five, he's pretty much 80s across the board for the fielding and reaction time stat than a 99 arm, 99 accuracy with 95 speed. And that for me can get him to 
number three on this list. The only thing I don't like about this Acuna card is the fact that he's 170,000 stubs on the market. If he was like 100,000 stubs, I would think about buying him. But for right now, I'm going to stick with the 90 overall trout. At number two is going to be a card I don't think a lot of people know about right now because he is a collection award for the American League Central, and that is going to be 93 overall Grady Sizemore. But I can't stress it enough how good this card actually is in game. Plays way above the stats, and the stats are not half bad either. Great lefty swing, great bat in my opinion. The ball flies off the bat of this Grady Sizemore card. 97 contact against righties, 75 against lefties, 86 power against righties, 80 against lefties. A lot of people that I know that are in World Series last year and Championship Series that are making their way to it right now in MLB The Show 22 have told me that Grady Sizemore is a top 10 card in the game. I don't know if we'll go that far. I think he is close to being a top 10 card in the game. It is very close, but this card is definitely a top tier outfielder in the game right now. 88 fielding, 73 arm, 78 accuracy, 91 reaction time, 80 speed. If you have a chance to finish the American League Central Collection, I do think Grady Sizemore is definitely worth adding to your team. And last but certainly not least, you all knew who number one on this list was going to be, and he's going to be number one on this list for the immediate future. That is going to be 95 overall live series, Mike Trout. Take everything I said about the 90 overall version, make it better like the Acuna. Better contact against righties, better contact against lefties. 117 power against righties, that is absurd for the outfield. And today is on a good inside edge day, so he's getting plus four contact and power against righties, making that 91-95, making that 117-121, and the lefty hitting splits, not bad either with 83 power against lefties, and like I said, 85 contact against lefties. The fielding stats at base are already in the 80s with 81 fielding, 85 arm, 82 accuracy, 80 rack time, and then 89 speed. So if you get this Trout to parallel five, he's going to be very close to getting max power against righties, which is unreal in the beginning of the year. He's going to have very solid contact against righties. He's going to be mid 80s plus in all the fielding stats, and he's going to have 94 speed. I mean, this card is going to be insane, and that's without talking about all the quirks that he has. Night player, I love to play night games. Breaking ball hitter, dead red. On phase, speedster, sniper, bomber. This card, insanely good top five card in the game and the best center fielder right now, Mike Trout for 300K. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for the video today. The top 10 center fielders in Diamond Dynasty right now in the comments down below. Let me know, what do you think of my list? Who do you think should be on this list? Who do you think should be off of this list? A lot of options I could have fit on here, like the Hank Aaron card, the Eric Davis, the Julio Rodriguez, all those cards are really good too, but center field is just so stacked. But if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.